Ana de Armas is a Cuban and Spanish actress that we all love. She began her career in Cuba and has taken on more English-speaking roles over the years. Many of us know her for her roles in Knives Out and No Time to Die. She was recently nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance as Marilyn Monroe in the 2022 film Blonde. Here are five shocking things that you never knew about Ana de Armas. Ana de Armas was born in Havana, Cuba. Her father was a bank manager and a teacher, and her mother worked in human resources in the Ministry of Education. Ana has an older brother, Javier, who is a New York-based photographer. As a child, Ana de Armas grew up with food rationing, fuel shortages, and electricity blackouts during her time in Cuba. She had no internet access and knew nothing about pop culture beyond what happened within Cuba. She grew up in a strict household and was only allowed to watch 20 minutes of cartoons over the weekends. Ana de Armas developed an interest in acting at a young age, and she would frequently practice monologues in front of a mirror, which encouraged her to audition for and later join Havana's National Theatre of Cuba. While she was a student, Ana filmed three movies and was on track for graduation, but she made the decision to leave her four-year program because Cuban graduates are forbidden from leaving the country without completing three years of community service. At 18 years old, she moved to Madrid with her Spanish citizenship through her maternal grandparents who were Spanish. Ana de Armas made her breakthrough when she moved to Los Angeles in 2014. She spoke very little English at the time, but she managed to get a role in the 2015 film Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves then introduced Ana to star in a Spanish role for the 2016 film Exposed, which he acted in and produced. She rose to prominence a year later in 2017. For her role as the holographic AI projections in Blade Runner 2049. She then took on roles in films such as Knives Out, No Time to Die, and Blonde. In 2011, Ana de Armas married the Spanish actor Marc Clotet. In 2013, the pair divorced. From 2015 to 2016, Ana was engaged to the American talent agent Franklin Latt. From 2020 to 2021, Ana de Armas briefly dated Ben Affleck. As of 2023, Ana de Armas's net worth is estimated at 6 million US dollars. It isn't revealed how much she earned for her role in Blonde, but sources report that she made 70,000 US dollars for her role in No Time to Die. Do you think that Ana de Armas will win an Oscar this year for her performance in Blonde? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.